All right, folks, we finna get right into this. Today, we making breakfast sandwiches, right? So listen, if you guys pay attention, if we go over these ingredients right here, you can look at these and just see it's not a whole lot to it, right? But the purpose of this video is to get everybody, you know, to get your brain to working. You know what? These are great for, uh, like, for those who do the meal prep, you know, you can grab these, put them in your container, and just go eat these later on or eat them on the way to work or however you want to do it, right? So first thing I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to go ahead and crack my eggs. Okay, so don't forget the full ingredient list with the printable recipe is on my website and that's smoking and grilling with ab.com and that's w i t a b.com. Okay, so once you get your eggs in here, this is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna add the milk. This helps it to get a little bit more on the fluffy side. And then I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. Watch this. You come over here, I give it just a splash of water. That's it. No, maybe a little bit more. That's it. All of this right here helps to, you know, for those of you guys that don't have like a non-cooking, uh, uh, a non-stick cooking pan, that right there helps. You know what I mean? So this is gonna make them fluffy. You know what I mean? And when I make my eggs, I want you guys to pay attention. I don't make my eggs super hard like most people scramble them. You'll see, I like mine to be a little bit on the soft side. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a pinch of salt. That's all I'm gonna put in here right now because I'm gonna put some other seasoning in here. You guys season your eggs like you would like to, but when it comes to the pepper, I'm gonna go ahead and just grind. I like to be able to see my pepper inside of my scrambled egg, you know, so. And then I'll probably always add some extra, you know, when I'm having them on a plate. So there is no such thing as too much pepper when it comes to, you know, scrambled eggs or anything, to be honest with you. All right, so I just put the salt and pepper in there. Listen, you guys can put whatever you want to. A lot of times I put Creole kick because I just love the profile that that gives me and that little bit of kick and just about everything, right? So this time I'm gonna be using my original. This is my AP and I'm gonna blend it with this right here, my A seasoning. This right here gives you, mm, I'm gonna just say this is a lethal combination as far as like the taste go. You don't wanna overpower it. You know why? Because listen, we using that black forest ham. We wanna be able to taste that too. So I give it a nice little, you know, mix. And then I'm gonna add my little red onion to it too. All right, now you guys put as much of this in there that you, you would like to. It's really up to you. And then I get a little bit of my green onion in here as well. It's almost like we making the omelet. In theory, we kind of like are. All right, so once you got everything mixed up, once you see your blend and it's the way you would like for it to look, then that right there is good, right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead, turn my burner on. I wanna do a medium heat. Let me pull up a little closer so you guys can see. If I call that low, that right there will probably be medium, right? So we wanna start heating up the pot, our pan, excuse me. Right, I'm gonna put in just a little bit over, you guys can use a tablespoon, two tablespoons. You can't really have too much butter when it comes to making these eggs. And then I'm gonna put that secret ingredient in there, you know, to keep it from burning. If you guys know what that is, how do we keep this, these, uh, our butter from turning brown? You tell me. If you didn't write this already down, down on the bottom in the comment section, this is the answer right here. A little bit of, you know, olive oil. Not just olive oil, it's uh, any cooking oil, right? But you know, that's my tool of choice. So now that we have this, ah oh yeah, there we go. Make sure everything is coated on here, even though this is a non-stick pan, and it's non-stick by design, folks, right? But this right here is gonna help. And what we wanna do is, we wanna just add this in, right? Okay, so listen, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys why I didn't just, you know, scramble these up, right? So listen, when you put them in a sandwich and they broken all up and they scramble, when you do that, they, you know, it makes it so like when you grab it, you know, like some of your egg can just fall out, right? But when you make it more like a sheet like this right here, listen, we can lay this right over the top. I mean, some of it will be broken, but it'll keep, you know, reduce the chance of all of it, you know, just falling out of the side. Okay, so when it looks like this and you've done it properly, look at this. See how that moves? That's perfect, right? So what I'm gonna do is, this is kind of big. You gotta have like a major skill if you wanna flip this inside of this pan. And with this little bit of wetness on it too, you know what I mean? Uh, it'll be hard for us to like get it to go back in the same size, right? So now I'm gonna take a spatula and just flip it. Now what I did was I just turned off of my, my fire off I'll let the residual heat in the pan, firm the rest of it up, and this is as far as I go. This is the way I like my eggs. Now, you guys do them whichever way you want to. You don't have to make them as big. You could have made them in, 
in sections, you know what I mean? So that they, you know, didn't lay them on top of the bread. But this right here is what I like, right? So as you see, it's off, right? And that will cook that. Now, we're gonna go ahead and prep our bread, right? So listen, I'm gonna be using the King's Hawaiian. Now I'm getting ready to spray a little non-stick cooking spray, you know, down here on the bottom. You know what I mean? It, just lightly, that's all you need. And then what you want to do is you want to get yourself like a bread knife, a, serrat a serrating knife, right? And you just want to go ahead and cut the tops off, right? I'm going to leave everything connected and do it. All right. And when I say serrated, look, you see that right there? This helps you, you know, get through it. You know what I mean? So now I'm just going to take it. I'm going to look at it because what I want to do is split it. You know what I mean? So when you buying it, make sure you look at your bread. Make sure it's not smashed. It'll make a difference, right? So you let the knife do the work, folks. Then when we separate it, now you take your bottom half and just drop him in just like that. All right, listen, so for me, I'm getting ready to put mayo, you know, on the bottom half of these, you know what I mean? I'm gonna substitute the mayo for the butter, right? It's up to you guys how you wanna do it. For me, I love the flavor of the butter, right? But now would be a great time for us to go ahead and preheat the oven. So I hit bake, we are gonna do 350 and then we hit start, right? Cause we are gonna put some butter on the top of these rolls and we finna make them work, folks. All right, so now here I got some mayo. I know everybody gonna hit me down in the comments and say, hey, you not using uh, Dukes or Hellman's? You know what I mean? Uh, I use what's available here, but I just wanna let you guys know, you tell me which one of them companies is the exact same. It really goes down to the marketing, folks. Okay, so after we got that layer, and I wanna say, man, I'm getting great with putting it on evenly. Look at that right there. I know, I know. Be quiet, A.B., don't over talk it, and let's put the eggs on, right? Now remember, I told you I like my egg to be on the soft side. And this right here, folks, is what I'm talking about. Look at that, remember that milk? That milk made it nice and fluffy. Now you guys make them like you want to. I just gave you a heads up. And I know that I'm using a metal uh, utensil inside of my pot, but don't forget, this is not no coating. This is the way it was made by design, All right? So. If you guys want to know why am I turning it around that way, because look, I got a square edge right here, right? So I take that and put that up against the edge over here, right? And we want to make sure we got complete coverage. Look at the way that stay together. And this right here, ooh, ain't nothing like being the chef in your kitchen, right? Now, what I did was I went to my local grocery store. They got a deli in there. I asked them to cut me some black forest. Look how thin that is. If you want to know how thin it is, look, I'm going to hold this up. And you guys probably can see like the silhouette of my fingers. Get them nice and thin, they nice and pliable. And what we wanna do is just start putting these on here just like this, right? Now I got two pounds, I got enough cause I really gotta make some more of these. Actually, I'm making these for somebody. You know what I mean? Uh, they just asked me to help them, you know, get ready. And I know, that I told them I do everything on the meaty side. So I'm gonna have to hear that. Cause they was like, hey, don't put too much uh, meat on there AB like you normally do. You know what I mean? But I got to be me. All right, so once you get your you know, your, your your protein of your choice on the top of here, right? You see how that look right there? Now it's time to decide what kind of cheese you want, right? I got that uh, Sargento, you know, sharp cheddar, or I can use this uh, this this Kobe Jack. I think this right here would just, would be the best, right? So let me go ahead and start getting some separation. You know what I mean? And we'll start putting these right here on the top. Now, once you get coverage, I just went a single row this way, a single row, and I covered up my gap there in there we're just you know one of these right because we want to have cheese everywhere right so then we just go ahead and take our tops we just grab it put it over the top like this make sure you got it just about as square as you can get it right we leave that alone remember we had some butter left over we take this and now we're gonna melt this down now that i got my butter melted right i'm gonna take about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and just add that to it all we want to do is just give this a little mix like this Oh yeah. Right? Now I'll do this for you guys. You know what I mean? Uh, we just take it and then we just brush the tops. Now if you guys want to put poppy seeds on here, you can. I stay away from the poppy seeds. Uh, you can do that though. You can uh, put sesame seeds in here. You know what I mean? If I was going to do them, I'd probably brown them a little bit. So roast them, you know? But this right here helped brown the tops. You know, coat it and give it that added flavor, right? So you guys got it. You know what we doing. 
Then I put a little bit of that butter in them joints too, like this right there, look at that, and let it just run down. I'm already at 350, we're gonna put these in for about 15 minutes, but we're gonna pay attention to it. We wanna look at our cheese, make sure that's melting right, and then we wanna make sure we're not getting too brown on the top, right? So we wanna hurry so we don't lose all our heat. Okay, folks, while I have that in there, it only got about five more minutes to go, right? I gotta make another one of these for myself, right? So the first one is really for somebody. They actually asked me to make that for them, so I didn't put all of my ingredients in per their request, right? But this is the way it goes, right? We got our melted butter. Now we wanna take a teaspoon. I measure this right here, cause this is crucial, right? So we put that in there like that. This is the W sauce. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of this Dijon slash Cajun mustard, right? That's really like a teaspoon that we're gonna put in there also. And then we put just a little bit of onion powder in here. You know what I mean? This will be about a half a teaspoon. So I can look at it and tell you, we just about, that's a half, about a half a teaspoon. Been making this for a while, right? And now you wanna just blend this together. And this is what we, you know, we put over the top. I want you guys to take a look at that. Look at the consistency. And just imagine, look at that right there. That's what I put on the top of mine. I suggest you guys do the same. Okay, folks. So listen, I do have permission to go ahead and take one of these out of here. You know what I mean? Let's see if we can't get one of these out. You know, like right here. Let's see if we can get that out of there. And you see that right there? That's what you want to put in there. For some of you guys that's watching how many calories you do, you can just put one of these in your... Uh, yeah, you know, your box with a divider, and then you can get uh, put some hash browns in there, you know, control your portions, but that's meal prep. But if you ask me, since I'm cutting back, I'm gonna put two of these in for myself. Now, with that being said, I really, really wanna bite this, but this is for him, you know what I mean? Hey, so I'm gonna put this back, let him do his thing, but you guys let me know in the comment section below, what would you do to level up these? I wish you guys could have seen that top on there because it gives a little bit of a different look on the top, and the taste on it is amazing. You know what, I might snap, uh, put some up, maybe put it in my community tab. But with that being said, you know like I like to do, talk to me down at the bottom. If you're new, I want you to like, subscribe, and tell everybody I'm your guy. And with that being said, guess what folks, I'm out. Peace.